today we are going to learn about hybrid inheritance in java so earlier we have seen multi level inheritance in java multi level inheritance we have a living creature class it has living constructor living creature constructor and it has a breathe method also all living creature breathe then we have a animal class which is extending to living creature class okay so animal class is a child class living creature class is a parent class we have a animal constructor and we have four leg method so four legged animal is is the statement in the four leg method okay and then we have a dog class dog class is extending to animal class and we have a dog class constructor and we have a make sound so dog will bark so we have we have bark statement into the dog class so this is a uh, multi level inheritance dog class is extending to the animal class animal class is extending to living creature class and and we have living creature class also okay so dog uh, living creature is a grand parent of dog class dog is a grand child of living creature class this is multi level inheritance and we can have one more class here like human class human human are also living creature okay and human uh, class can uh, extends to living creature extends so this is single level inheritance humans will extend to living creature class okay humans will extend to living creature class this is a single level inheritance we have a human constructor okay system dot out dot print app print app we have method also like work because human always work void work so we have work method in the human class working human method okay so here we are creating object of dog class dog is calling uh, dog class is calling dog class has make sound method so it is dog class object is calling make sound method then dog class is extending to animal class so animal class has a four leg method so it is calling four leg method and dog class animal class is extending to living creature class so it is calling breathe method of grand parent class so it it is calling breathe method so similarly we can create object for human class also human and we can write capital h for the human class human h equal to new human then h dot human class dot work because human always work then we can have h dot parent class method parent class method is nothing but breathe so humans always breathe so breathe will be called breathe so let's run this program and see the, see the output so this is known as hybrid inheritance we have multi level inheritance with living creature then animal then dog this is multi level inheritance and this is single level inheritance with the human and living creature so this combination of multi level inheritance and single inheritance is known as hybrid inheritance okay let's run this program and see the output let's execute this program line by line here we are creating dog class object okay but dog class constructor will put implicitly super keyword so animal super class which animal class animal class constructor will be called okay animal class and animal class is also extending to living creature class so super keyword will call the living creature class constructor so living creature class is not extending to any other class so living creature constructor will be printed into the output screen then animal constructor will be printed see here
then the constructor will be printed then we are calling make sound method of dog class so bark sound will be printed into the output screen bark sound is printed then we are calling animal class method for leg for leg animal will be printed four legged animal will be printed then we are calling breathe method of grandparent class so breathe method will be called of living creature class all living creatures breathe this is printed then we are creating object of human class so and we human class is extending to living creature class so super keyword will call the parent class constructors okay so living creature constructor will be called living creature constructor will be printed then human constructor will be printed then we have as dot work human class object dot work because human always works so this method will be called working human method because human class has this work method then we have as dot breathe human class object dot breathe so breathe is a method of parent class living creature so this will be called all living creature breathe method will be printed okay so execution of this program is completed so we have learned about hybrid inheritance in the java